All right. Rosie Batista here, and I am with Elaine Fulci. And this is one of my favorite interviews to do, which is always talking about card deck success stories and what beautiful creators create and how they bring their gift to the world. And so I'm so excited to talk to you today, um, Elaine, about this. And usually the first question that I'm asking is like, what even got you interested in making a card deck? Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great question. And it all began with my friend and daughter-in-law, Helen, who said, Mom, I'm going to take this class on card creation. Oh. And why don't we do it together? Would you like that? Would that be fun? And I said, oh, my gosh, I would love that. Helen's very creative. She's so super fun, super nice person. And it was a wonderful invitation to receive. So in, with enthusiasm, I met you and some of the other women in the card deck over a period of six or so weeks. And I got more and more excited about it, more and more mm -hmm. interested in it, especially with all the support, the good suggestions, and then to have the companionship of somebody like Helen. Yeah. And I love that you said yes, because, you know. Yeah. Sometimes we don't, and you you got this magnificent opportunity and this magnificent uh, way that you can you know yeah. put your yeah. special creativity in the world. It's amazing. Um, so, who is your card deck for? My card deck is for women in the second half of life, mm. because um, the second half of life has its share of challenges and joys and sometimes um, happiness, great happiness, and then also losses and sorrow. And I think um, we don't realize that those things are balanced with a resilience that we also bring to that stage of life. You yeah. know, we're older, we're wiser. We sometimes don't give ourselves credit for being strong and resilient, but we bring that like a silver thread of resilience that runs through that second part. That's of life. beautiful. I, I love that you, you call your card deck hearts on our sleeves. So mm -hmm. what what uh, what made you choose that name? Well, um, the name of the deck comes from a monthly Zoom of the same name that I've been hosting oh, since okay. COVID. And I was prior to forming the Zoom group, I was meditating and I asked spirit for inspiration. And I was given the phrase hearts on our sleeves. Mm. And it represents to me the invitation that we all get from life as older women when we enter our 50s to open our hearts up fully to everything that life delivers, to be reminded that our joy, our wonder, our awe, those things don't have a time stamp. So yeah. many gifts of aging come to us by wearing our hearts on our sleeves. And that's yeah. what we do as I older that. wiser women. I love that. So what I love to would love everyone to see is uh, like if we were in the room with you right now, you mm -hmm. would pull a card for us. Yeah. So why don't you uh, shuffle, pull, maybe you have one selected, whatever you'd like to share, like what would a reading with you look like? And I'm gonna make you full center so people can see the card and you can hold it up. All right. Yeah. So, Oops. well done. Let me get you. Gonna, there we go. There we yeah. go. Right. That's gorgeous. Is that, let me just, is that a real photo? It is. It is wow. a real photo that was taken by my friend, Karen. And gorgeous. she's a talented person and a great photographer. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure when I saw them, I'm like, Hmm, yeah. these like, you know, digitally generated or something because they're yeah. just really yeah. magnificent. These are real Beautiful. flowers from her garden in her backyard. Beautiful. And many of those flowers came from her mother's garden, which after her mother died and they had sold homestead, uh, Karen took a number of plants and repotted them in her own yard. Oh, so nice. it's like having the memory of her mom. Yeah. The spirit of her mom. And I love them. They're very luminous, I think. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So do you want me to read what's on the sure, back? Sure, yeah. yeah. On the back, it says, um, these are all my words, my 
quotations, mm -hmm. the only constant in life is change. The one thing we can predict about life is that it will be unpredictable. As I age, I continue to find fresh viewpoints, growing and learning to celebrate life. And this card, like all the others, has a section called the invitation. That is a phrase that was also given to me by spirit in meditation. And the invitation on this card says, practice seeing everyone and everything you meet today as your teacher. Move into the world as if you are going on an expedition to discover new layers of understanding of how the world operates so that you can navigate your life with joy. That is beautiful. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. So I that that is uh, I love the invitation part mm, because then it's thanks. you know it's uh, actionable, right? Then we say okay, mm -hmm. the invitations for me versus just you know reading something random and we might think it pertains to someone else. So I think that's really um, super special. I love that very much. Well, and you know, the invitation, Rosie, means that you it respects your free will. Mm. It's an invitation. You can accept it or say, no, that doesn't fit me today, or I, yeah. I don't have time for that or whatever. You're always free to choose. And yeah. So love that's that. what I love about it, too. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I love that. Really good. So how many uh, flowers do you have in the deck? Or it's all it's all. Uh, it's nature. almost all flowers, but we also, I also have um, some scenes like uh, there's this one, for instance. Oh, wow, beautiful. These are all actual places. And this is a bench looking out oh, on yeah. a, a large pond. Karen lives in the Boston area. So these uh, viewpoints all come from different parts of the New England oh, area. That's another one. Gorgeous. And, if I can find it quickly, there's one um, that I really especially love, and it's this one. Oh, yeah. You want to jump right in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I do. <laughs> I want to like, be there. I love it. Yeah. You, know, you just have, have the feeling of being connected to nature. There. That's great. So good. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just going to share... Um, Let's see. Okay, mm -hmm. so you could see it really close up, but that's what the back of the card would look like. So if you had this deck of cards, you'd be pulling it and you would read the, you know, the commentary and then let yourself be invited to the invitation. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I love it. So good. So um, you, you had mentioned something to me and I was like, oh my God, I think you sent me a picture. I was like this. I've never heard of anyone doing this before, but you did something really special mm -hmm. to introduce your your deck uh to your you know like your local i think it was like your local people right mm -hmm. yes it was a party that i invited friends to and some are friends of mine for a lot of years some are newer friends um and they were a mixed group and there were 16 of us we sat at two different tables in my home in the dining area of the home. And that uh, area has a bank of windows. So the room was just filled with light. Mm. And, and just, I had beautiful colors, orange and turquoise, the colors that dominate in the card deck itself. But the occasion was to celebrate the birth of this card deck, nice. to literally have a birthday party with a huge cake that was made by a French pastry shop in town. I put a single okay. candle in the middle, yeah. lit it, we sang happy birthday, then I sliced it up and we all enjoyed it. I love that. Prior to that, at each person's setting, I placed a card from the deck. Mm. And I didn't pick which card to go where, um, I just placed them. And each woman introduced herself by reading the card deck and then saying something about how they knew. Okay, so let me guess. Everyone said, oh, my God, this was the card I needed today, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They kept saying, you sure you didn't put this yeah. here for me? You know? I mean, that that's a, that's a fantastic testimony to that is really how cards work. They are yeah. just like 
from their nature, whatever, they're just intuitive and they're just really placed in the right hands all the time. Yeah. So that's really such a beautiful, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I think there might be people that are watching this interview, you know, be like, oh, that's a great idea. Let me, we don't, we, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing about when you create something that it actually does feel like a birth. So, so, mm -hmm. so my question um, that I like to find from creators, like what was the creation process like for you? Mm. Well, I'm a writer. I've published about oh, yeah. 10 books. Wow. And every one of them is like giving birth. Like you said, I've always felt I was the midwife. Wow. And I felt the same way about the deck of cards. Mm. I had this feeling from the beginning as we started that class and I started to feel the presence of these decks and the energy that these can bring to the world. And I realized this is another birth. I'm being a midwife yeah. again. I'm helping to bring That's something so into the world that spirit wants to be here. And so, of course, I love the deck. I, I love everything about it, how they came together. There were certain challenges that were overcome. I loved hearing um, the photographs that Karen brought with the energy of her mom, sort of the intergenerational feeling of that connection. Yeah. And then um, I wanted to help the card uh, realize that it was being fully honored and that it had a place of honor in the world. And that's why I wanted to celebrate that with uh, a birthday party. And my friends are used to me doing sort of unusual things at times or doing things in my own way. And at first they were like, a birthday card for the deck. Hmm. You know? But yeah. then they <laughs> they into it, especially when I said, well, you know, this is a chance for us to have some fun together. And yeah, be so great. I love that. And then have this wonderful cake. I love that. Um, it, that's so, it, it's really interesting because, uh, <laughs> it, you know, when you say, um, the, the, just the way you're honoring the deck and that you understand that there's such energy to it. Because I, I always say, you know, if you're frustrated and you're like struggling to do the deck, like stop and walk away for a while until you're really inspired because it has, it feels the energy and it keeps that energy so um, mm -hmm. that's amazing that you really honor the process through the whole, mm -hmm. you know, through the whole journey. It's, that's amazing. And so to I feel know. the support and love of my friends too, to feel yeah. their appreciation. Yeah. And one of the things I'm doing with my deck um, is I always have donated time and effort and money to uh, the Immigrant Welcome Center in honor of my Italian grandparents who immigrated mm. the century. So 40% of all proceeds from the deck go to them, go to the Immigrant Welcome Center to, so they can continue their work with right. modern day immigrants who are under a lot of pressure these days. There have been political problems associated with name calling and a lot of um, ugly things said about immigrants, but we know that immigrants today are driven by the same passion that drove my grandparents to come. They want a better life. They want a better life for themselves and for their children. So um, it makes me feel even more that my cards are special because we're helping that process. Nice, beautiful. I love that. So where can, um, you talked about that you had a Zoom Room. So where can people find you if they were interested in? Well, it's know. going to be pretty simple because I'm um, myself an older woman now. I don't uh, have a full time practice. So the easiest is the best for me these days. So I don't have a big, you know, website like I used to. And Easy is always good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can, they can just write me, Elaine Voci at gmail.com. Okay, Elaine Volchi. Make an inquiry, and we can go from there. Excellent. Also, I have a Square account, and my Square, um, there's a page uh, that I sent you, Rosie, that you could attach or... Yep, we'll on. attach it right below the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Excellent. people can then buy the deck directly there. Yeah, I love that. Amazing. 
yeah, and see what else you're doing in that Zoom room, <laughs> which, I'm, which I'm sure is some amazing things. All right, yeah. so what, so so my last question for you is, um, what is the, you know, if you could just, you know, you have all this wisdom, you, could, you have 10 books, which I didn't realize, um, you have this beautiful deck, and so what is the, you know, I, I don't want to say words of wisdom, but what would you, like, what is it that you want everyone to know? You mean in regard to the deck, what in I want? In regards to whatever, in regards to life, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think um, that we ought not to be afraid of getting older. Um, there are stages of life throughout life. And the second half of life isn't any different than those earlier stages. It's going to be um, challenging at times, and it's going to be new territory that you discover. But it's also going to feel somewhat familiar because it is a journey of transformation. And like all times of transition, it brings with it um, an opportunity to affirm our purpose in the world, our mission, um, to create our best selves in this last stage of our lives. And then also um, many of the gifts of aging come when we play the role of mentor, when we contribute our time, our talent, our treasure to causes that we feel passionately about. We all want to leave a legacy. And the legacy of love that we can leave when we are no longer on this earth is something that can be beautiful and something good that will give hope and help to mm. future generations. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So everybody just kind of take that in. Words of wisdom from the beautiful Elaine Volchi. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you so much for your time, Elaine, and for sharing with us your beautiful creation, um, what went into it, you know, uh, what comes from it and um, all of that. Well, may I also say a um, round of applause to you, Rosie, for the wonderful work you do in helping people create their decks. You know, I, um, I found your encouragement greatly helpful and supportive and fun. And I see how often you spend bringing new information to people about card decks. Um, it's like you always are up on the next thing, you know, that's coming and it all helps. And what a great goal to contribute so much of your own talent and energy and caring to bringing these decks into the world. Thank you, Elaine, so much. You're Thank welcome. You. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thanks.